Instead, we saw incredible stories of heroism and courage, Israelis taking care of one another, neighbors forming watch groups to protect their kibbutz, opening their homes to shelter survivors, retired soldiers running into danger once again, civilian medics flying across rescue, flying rescue missions, and off-duty medics at the music festival caring for the wounded before coming victim, before becoming a victim himself. Volunteers retrieving bodies of the dead so families could bury their loved ones in accordance with Jewish tradition. Reservists leaving behind their families, their honeymoons, their studies abroad without hesitation, and so much more. The State of Israel was born to be a safe place for the Jewish people of the world. That's why I was born. I've long said, if Israel didn't exist, we'd have to invent it. And while it may not feel that way today, Israel must again be a safe place for the Jewish people. And I promise you, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that it will be. Seventy-five years ago, <clears throat> just 11 minutes after its founding, President Harry S. Truman and the United States of America became the first nation to recognize Israel. We've stood by your side ever since. We're going to stand by your side now. My administration was in close touch with your leadership from the first moments of this attack. We're going to make sure we have what you have what you need to protect your people, to defend your nation. For decades, we've ensured Israel's qualitative military edge. And later this week, I'm going to ask the United States Congress for an unprecedented support package for Israel's defense. We're going to keep Iron Dome fully supplied so it can continue standing sentinel over Israeli skies, saving Israeli lives. We've moved U.S. military assets to the region, including positioning the USS Ford Carrier Strike Group in the Eastern Mediterranean, with the USS Eisenhower on the way to deter, to defer further aggression against Israel and to prevent this conflict from spreading. The world will know that Israel is, str Israel is stronger than ever. And my message to any state or any other hostile actor thinking about attacking Israel remains the same as it was a week ago. Don't. 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 